For those of you who've been following me on Patreon, <clears throat> and uh, of course some of you who've been listening to my videos on YouTube, you know I've been spot on about the history of this Russian and Ukraine conflict. Let me go ahead and take it a little step further because I've been around long enough to know. As a matter of fact, um, I was actually in Germany when the Berlin Wall came down um, and for the first Gulf War. And so that means I go back a long way, a long time. But I remember under the first Bush, he had made a promise verbally uh, to Russia then, and um, who was, I think, it was, was it Gorbachev? No, Gorbachev was in the Bush area. No, it was Gorb Miguel Gorbachev. Um, that NATO wasn't going to expand itself over there in the East. It wasn't going to expand itself. We're going to get all these United Nations and stuff, you know, get these nations to unite and stuff. It, it was fine right where it was. And that they would make no advancement to the Russian border. They had to reiterate that again because what happened was member and states start coming in and start joining NATO. And when they came in and start joining NATO, uh, what took place was Russia again kept telling them, listen, stay away from my borders. All y'all got to do is just go fact check Pastor Dow. I mean, that's the reason why I keep up with news and I keep up with these sources because now you got a lot of people uh, echoing what I told y'all from the very beginning when Russia went in. Well, the one thing that America, who's trying to act benevolent under Joe Biden, that they're not telling you, that they're not telling you, is that they, they actually provoked Ukraine to stand up against Russia. Think about that for a second. Knowing full well that they were not going to support them whatsoever at all. I mean, they gassed up the Ukraine. And now this man is over there begging to join the EU and begging for American forces, West forces, uh, to, to come in and help them defeat Russia. Which, I can tell you right now, it ain't going to happen. If you haven't looked at the news lately, and mind you, I, I truly don't, I'm sorry, I don't, I, listen, I don't wish bad, war as hell on anyone and stuff. But as long as they doing that crap over there, I'm, I, I'm good. Hey, that's their conflict. But Russia, for uh, for 30 years, if we go back that far, I know I put it out for 20 years, has been telling the EU and the West, stay away from our borders and quit expanding to get to our borders. And America has been arrogant and egotistical. Now you want to sit like, yet now you want to sit up and, and politically grandstand the stage play like, we stand with Ukraine. No, you don't, you bunch of cowards. You don't stand with Ukraine. You know good and damn well that, that the West, America, they provoked this damn war right here. And the EU, because they didn't think Russell wasn't going to do any damn thing. Now you got a bunch of dead Ukrainians. Their cities are shelled and bombed half to death. And guess what? The EU, who they try to court and make you think that you was coming into the EU, Ukrainian president, guess what? They ain't coming. You asked for a no-fly zone. And what they turn around and tell you? Why we can't do that? Because we turn around and pit, you know, and, and make an impending no fly zone. What's going to happen? I tell you exactly what's going to happen. There will be insinuation for nuclear war because everybody knows that Putin's crazy as hell. And I'm not talking about it in a bad way. If you put yourself in Putin's shoes, you know what I mean? People will think you crazy. I personally don't think the man crazy. I think the man has been on the right side of history the whole entire time. And then the West try to demonize him. And everybody else, all the other news pundits demonizing. And you know one thing that else Putin said? Putin said, as long as I am president and as long as I am alive in Mother Russia, that's what he says. He says, a male will be a man and a female will be a woman. And we're not having none of that homosexual stuff over here. It just ain't happening. Then guess what? Here come the West again, want to criticize Putin. Hey, go back and look at the history of Russia. They have been on the right side of history this whole time. America is full of crap. And they're trying to get out here on the news medias and get up in front of all of y'all and deceive y'all. That's what America, that's what America, the American president is doing. And let me tell you something. They are, look, look, Ukraine is going to be turned into a rubble, a heap. 
They cannot in any way, shape, fashion, or form as all the pride that they got stand up against an army like Russia. I mean, Russia's hitting with rockets and they're throwing rocks, basically, in a nutshell. It's just sad. And Russia is leveling the Ukraine. See, if the Ukrainian president had any sense, if you really truly cared about the people of Ukraine, most of y'all ain't gonna like to hear this, but this is what you need to hear. He needs to surrender. Stop the bloodletting. Stop the shelling. Stop the dying of people and get your butt back, right back up under uh, Russia. But no, no, no. He was deceived by the West, thinking that the West was going to somehow help him and, and do all this other stuff. Look, again, do y'all see the reason why I've been on here for all these decades telling people over and over again, if America, if America's trying to court you as a country, you better not believe it. You better go throw you under the bus. You better not believe it. And I'm not saying that because I'm against the American people. I'm against the 535 that's deceiving American people along with the corporate news media that is still trying to deceive the people. You got very few news sources out there that's going to actually tell you the flat out truth. And that's just true. Hey, I'll talk more about this on the Patriot side because I know people are just really truly getting tired. But let me tell you, I, I come out here to tell y'all stuff like this. And, and I report like this because I know a lot of people don't keep up with history and you're glued to the damn TV. And it's that same old saying, we report and you decide. But what they're doing is they're, they're deciding on what you can hear. So they are reporting on what they want you to hear. Then they want you to make a choice and decision based on what they told you. But now don't look behind the curtain. You know, The Wizard of Oz, most of you got entertained by that movie. But what you should have got from that movie Pay attention who's pulling the levels behind the curtain. Because if you pay attention to who's pulling the levels behind the curtain, then you can see clearly. That's like when the Matrix came out. They tried to tell you we control, we controlled, manipulated. I mean, dominated on every level. You would not believe how deceived the American people are because of these statutory laws that goes against us as a people. And here we are thinking that we're free and stuff, and, and we've been contracting with the B system ever since. I can go on and on and on and on and on. Let me tell you something. If anybody out there in this country, in these other countries that um, you're politicians, and you got any type of influence or, or at least a voice to say on the floor, if America tells you something, you better not believe it. If you don't believe me, ask Omar Gaddafi. Ask Saddam Hussein, who was used to come over here to the White House and get invited to dinners. Well, you can't ask neither one of them, can Because they both dead. And what you think is getting ready to happen to Ukraine? Look, the West, NATO, America, they ain't coming. That country is getting ready to be turned into a almost uh, a, a northern desert or a northern mountain area. I mean, after all, that is the place, I, I believe it is, I truly believe that's where the Khazaria used to be. That's where the Ashkenaz Jews come from. Matter of fact, the Ukraine is even begging for the Jews to say something. Why? Because that is their homeland. Them people are not indigenous people to Northeast Africa or the real true Jerusalem, the land of Ham, Israel, the real Israel. I'm talking about the land of Israel. Well, anyway, I, you know, I just keep on dropping this knowledge all the time. I understand when you're under the, the deception of this world and, and you still believe in fairy tales and you're doing Christmas trees and Valentine's and Easter and Sunday and eating pig feet and pork chops and everything else. Hey, I believe me, I'm under no illusion whatsoever at all. I know this bizarre behavior is deeply uh, collectively embedded in the subconscious mind of man. And I know one thing for sure. No matter any amount of truth that I say, unless you have the spirit of truth, these sins will never sink deep down in your heart. You'll go on, not prepared, and then when the proverbial crap hit the fan, you're going to moan, you're going to bellyache, you're going to squall, you're going to do all this stuff. And then guess what? Nobody's going to be around to help you. Nobody. Because see, your laughter, because you refuse to prepare, is now going to be turned into mourning. And let's find out all these people who spit in your ear and side with you if they're going to be benevolent towards you when it's time for you to need help. I'm telling you, become more discerning, America, because I'm telling you, 
Uh, this country, they, they trying to act like that they're on the right side of history and they're benevolent. These are a bunch of lying shysters. And yeah, I'm talking about uh, Joe Biden. Yeah, lying sight to whoever the puppet master is controlling him. But anyway, I said, I hope I said something simulated. Thought I'm just setting the record straight. Thought I'd get a video in here while I'm sitting down here relaxing, at least trying to, because I've been up there since 4 o'clock this morning. But anyway, uh, stay tuned. Try to come over and, and uh, see about joining up on my Patreon channel and get more news that, uh, you know, a lot of times you just literally don't have the <clears throat> freedom of speech to be able to say over here, uh, <clears throat> on this private YouTube platform, but mm, I can say a whole lot on Patreon.